My name is uh, David Falk. I'm with the University of British Columbia. My uh, poster is on Groundhog Chronology Test Laboratory. Uh, what I, the reason I did this poster was because I had this late-breaking project, late-breaking result, and uh, it came in just after the deadline for submitting a paper to read at the conference. So instead, what I did was a poster that showed my results and uh, debuted the project. Now, what the project is, it's a computer suite that takes all the chronologies of the ancient Near East, Babylonian, Assyrian, Elamite, Hittite, Egyptian, etc., and it creates a harmonized uh, chronology based on the synchronisms between them. Now, the purpose of this is not to create a harmonized chronology, but to test chronological hypotheses. Right now, you can create a, uh, a hypothesis about chronology, and there's no way to test it. There's no way to validate to see if that actually that, that hypothesis actually works. So what I did was I created a program that will test a uh, hypothesis to see if it is internally consistent. And how it does this is it takes every chronology and every variation of that chronology and then tests that hypothesis against every single permutation of that chronology. If it, if it finds even one chrono, uh, chronological permutation that is consistent, it will mark the hypothesis as consistent. If none of the hypotheses are, or if none of the permutations are consistent, it will mark the whole chronology as inconsistent. So it is a means to test chronological hypotheses. Uh, an example of this is the comet of Mersili the third, or the, sorry, not the comet, the solar eclipse uh, that occurs in the tenth year of Mersili the third. That eclipse uh, is believed to have occurred either in 1312 or 1308 BCE. Using Groundhog, I was able to determine that the, if the solar eclipse occurred in 1312, there is a possibility that that is internally consistent with the harmonized data of the ancient Near East. Whereas with, if the solar eclipse occurred in 1308, there is no variation of uh, permutation or variation of the chronologies where the 1308 date could possibly work. So it was marked inconsistent. Now, the problem is, for doing this sort of work by hand, you're dealing with tens of thousands of permutations, tens of thousands of possibilities, and hundreds of thousands of calculations. It can only be done by a computer. So this is where this programming suite comes in. It will actually do all the same work that a chronologist would do, but it does it on a lot grander and larger scale. For more information, you can visit the site at uh, www.legomorph-rampant.com slash chronology slash index.html. Thank you.